Chuck's Reptile Depot. Doors are open to the public. Come on down and get yourself some kind of fucking gecko or a fucking snake, man. Reptiles are fucking cool. There's nothing like adding a reptilian brother to the family. Or a sister, I guess. Like, some of them got pussies or whatever. And if you think you're real serious, I know a guy who can get you a fucking Komodo dragon. Those things are fucking cool. Ditch the fucking dumb dog and get yourself some kind of reptilian creature or whatever, fucking crocodile, fucking cobra, you name it. Bring the family down to Chuck's Reptile Depot in Trauma City. 1414 Dog Piss Boulevard. Cash only. We don't fucking do gift cards or whatever, dude. People keep asking me, are reptiles poisonous? I'm like, fuck yeah, the cool ones are. Chuck's Reptile Depot in Trauma City. 1414 Dog Piss Boulevard. The place is fucking dead. It's fucking dead. It's the Vegan Arcade Show. I'm gonna have to kill another dozen kids this afternoon. It's vegan! And here's your host, Eddie Upshaw! Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta come down to Eddie Upshaw's fucking vegan arcade! The shit's vegan, pussy! You want some or don't you? What up, though? Looks like Eddie's running late tonight, which is pretty perfect. <clears throat> All right, here's the deal. We don't have much time, so, uh, you know, if you watched last week, the come fish, Eddie's got him in captivity, and I ain't feeling all that, so we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I hired a guy, uh, Studio 17 budget, so we hired a guy to uh, help break the come fish out of captivity and return him to his ocean home. And uh, his name is Lenny the Activist. He's basically known for like these high risk sort of rescues. And you should definitely Google him, look it up. Uh, he's currently posted up in the entrance of Eddie's up uh, of Eddie's arcade right now, and it's about to go down. So uh, seriously, I don't know. Let's check it out. Yes, Mike, I'm here. We don't have much time. The Brazilian cuttlefish is fading fast. If we don't get him to his ocean home immediately, he'll never survive. We gotta do it now. But before we get to that, just make sure you check out our YouTube page, subscribe to our Facebook, our Instagram, and don't forget to hashtag save the cuttlefish. Not today, pussy. Get your own fucking cuttlefish! Oh, sweet dark lord of snorting them Ico cocks! Eddie Upshaw is back at it! Up in his vegan RK. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is another informative edition of the Vegan Arcade Show. We're glad to have you along. Sorry for the late start. Had a little errand to run. Yeah. I went and burned my wife's house down with all five of her boyfriends in there. Yeah. 
Up in flames. The bitch is dead. You know what? Hats off to the fat twat. You know why? She died doing what she loved. Five guys in my bed. End of story, Louise. You're dead. Actually, it's not the end of the story. And If you have cable television, it's all over the news. It's on that TV right here. News coming out of downtown Trauma City. The police are still gathering information, but it seems at least 10 people have lost their lives in this horrific house fire. We're getting word now that it was actually five regular sized adults and one really enormous one. So it is now confirmed that six people have died in this Trauma City house fire. Police report that a man was seen leaving the scene before the explosion. Yeah, she was running a whorehouse out of there, dude. Real big girl too, six, seven hundred pounds at least. Nice lady. What a tragedy, man. The police have posted a sketch of the alleged man in question. If you see this man, consider him armed and dangerous. He is approximately 5'8", 180 pounds, goofy purple fedora, and those stupid fucking glasses. Get it off. Get it off. Turn it off the television. You fucking shit-eating janitor piece of shit. That's your job. Eddie, congr <laughs> congratulations on killing your wife. Thanks. Yeah, listen, customers are complaining that the homeless guy is back again. And uh, he's harassing people near the back entrance of the arcade. Maybe you can kick him out or whatever. Yeah, first of all, uh, don't tell me how to do my fucking job. And second of all, I can handle it. I'm an adult. Apparently, he's going to handle it. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking shit show. Oh, fuck. There's Eddie with the next. Uh, I'm going to try to scare him out of there, I guess. What? what is looking around. Just scare him, Eddie, out of there. Oh, no. No, I guess not. I guess he's just going to fucking murder him. <laughs> wow. Eddie, <laughs> he doesn't ever stop, dude. That's insanity. Yeah, I took care of it. You know what? He'll never be back again. We had a conversation. We talked it out. He's going to get a job. He's not going to be an issue anymore. Ah. Uh, it's good to be back, folks, and it's good to be single. And now that my wife is a dead person, I've thrown my hat back into the dating game. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. And the producers here on Studio 17 have been scouring the internet trying to find me love. And you know what? They did a great job this week. I think they may have found my future wife. Ladies and gentlemen, this segment is called Eddie's Betty's Babe of the Week. I hope you enjoy it. Eddie's Betty's brought to you by Ico Cock. When it comes to making a scene, no one does it better than Donna Beaver. Holy shit! Let's just make a McNugget to yeah, my hand. I don't want to get it. It's 10.30 a.m. We don't serve chicken McNuggets at this time. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Why not? Because we do. You know what? Did you just hiss at me? I'm the one just fucking hiss at you. This poor pussy at the window informs Mrs. Beaver that they don't serve McNuggets after 3 a.m. So she does the sexiest thing a woman could do in this situation. She goes absolutely fucking batshit ballistic. Bam! Get him, Donna. The fat fuck gets whacked a few times, but I think he deserved it. What? Oh, that shit. Oh, 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 to put 
an exclamation point on this late night tirade. <laughs> Crazy cunt Donna Beaver smashes the glass and speeds away under the Carolina moonlight. She was later arrested and now is spending time in West Pussy Correctional Facility. Nothing hotter than a crazy bitch in prison. Boner Scale, brought to you by Ico Cock. Thinking of Donna Beavers beating up teenage fast food employees makes me hard as shit. She scores a solid four out of five boners. Brought to you by Ico Cock. Cock pills for men. How about that Donna fucking Beaver? Quite a lady. Hey, Donna, if you're out there watching, we should 69 sometime. <laughs> I think you'd be into it. Let's get together. Let's fuck, Donna. I could be your Mr. Beaver. Leave it to Beaver, bitch. Yeah. Well, I would just like to thank my Uncle Gary over here for doing a great job at the birthday party we had here this evening. Happy birthday, Nathan. Hope you enjoyed. Get your fucking hand off me, Uncle Gary. Hope you enjoyed your birthday celebration. Get your fucking hand off my cock. Uncle Gary's a little touchy-feely, but he means well. Yeah, Nathan had a great time. His father, get off of me for a second, Jesus is a very known man in the area. The Maloney's are kind of a big deal, and I'm very happy to have their business. Can you fuck off, Uncle Gary, to have their business? I think that it went really well. Get the fuck out of here, Gary, okay? We, we don't need you anymore. Fucking rubbing up on all the customers. Jesus. He means well. I think the little shit had a good time. Yo, Maloney's Eddie, what up? Yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, Mr. Why are you Maloney's interrupting me phone. right now? Yo, Mr. Maloney's on the phone right now, Eddie. It's Nathan's father. He's losing his shit. I guess a bunch of shit went down at his son's party, and you got to talk to him. You got to figure this out because he's fucking screaming in my ear uh, right now. What the fuck was that? That entire birthday party was house shit, horse shit. Half the games are out of order. We all got sick from that fucking vegan meat sauce and that fucking robot. You kept grabbing my wife by the tits. I'm fucking pissed, Eddie. I paid you a lot of money. You need to make this right, buddy. Oh, you know what? I appreciate your phone call, but I don't appreciate your tone. Yeah, if you want to come down here and tell me how to run... My vegan arcade, get your little pussy down here. Okay, asshole. That's the way you want to fucking play it. You and that fucking robot are dead. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Maloney. Fuck the whole Maloney family. Fuck that little nine-year-old shithead Nathan with the list. Nine years old, you can barely understand a fucking word that comes out of his mouth. And your wife, like, come on, Mr. Maloney, be honest. No one's trying to touch those saggy bags of shit. And if they do, it was a fucking total accident. God damn it. Blake, stop interrupting me. Uncle Gary, stop touching my fucking dick and get out of here. God damn it. Now I'm all flustered. I forget my cue. Oh, yeah, okay. Another happy customer, eh, Mr. Maloney? Quite the guy. Glad to have his business, but he can suck his own dick in hell for all I care. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard. Had to shut down the daycare cages. Yeah, it's all done. Some asshole father forgot the little runt 
in the cage for two full days. He didn't fucking make it. But I don't understand why that's my problem. No, no, no. You're fucking dead, no, bro. No. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yo, this dude is lighting Eddie up. Oh, uh, no, Come on, no, you want to go with me? You want to go with me? Eddie's getting beat up right there uh, in the middle of the arcade. Look at this. Piece of shit. Uh, you piece of shit. You come to Eddie's for what? For uh, what? Fuck. Uh, uh, fuck me. You piece of shit. Uh, I, should break I should break these fucking things. I should break them. I should uh, break them. Uh, you want to go with me? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> you ain't that fuck. Where's the robot? Fuck. Where's the robot? Uh, my Uncle Gary. Where's the bro. robot? No. Fuck your Uncle Gary. Uh, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Uh, I'll kill him. Uh, no. no. Oh my. No. God. <laughs> I just no. bearing witness to this no. real no. beatdown. No. Take it, motherfucker. Oh my goodness. Keep fucking with me, Eddie. You're all dead. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, he, yo, yo, what the fuck just happened there? Did you guys see that shit? Eddie, Eddie, are you just, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> God, I guess he's not okay at all. Well, uh, well, I guess I'm just going to run to a quick commercial break. I don't know what else to do here, and uh, we'll be right back. So stick around. Goodbye forever, Grandma. Dildo Springs Retirement Home. There's nothing like the feeling of freedom. I'm self-made billionaire Hank Fucker, here to tell you all about the new cryptocurrency that's sweeping the nation. It's called Pisscoin. Subscribe to my Patreon and make $10 million a day with Pisscoin. What's that? Your grandma shit the bed again? Dildo Springs Retirement Home. Stop in for a free tour today. I'm Hank Faka, piss coin. Where's Grandpa? Where the fuck are my car keys? Dildo Springs Retirement Home. Stop in for a free brochure. Want to start feeling like that tight piece of ass you once were? Try some Ico Cunt. Vaginal rejuvenation in a bottle. Don't sit around waiting for dicks to fall in your lap. Get fucked tonight with Ico Cunt, the best cunt pills on the market. From the makers of Ico Cock, Ico Cunt is a fast acting, all natural female enhancement drug. It's basically fucking steroids. Ico Cunt helps pump estrogen directly to the cunt so you can perform your womanly duties at an accelerated rate. Ico Cunt users have experienced a 50% improvement in skills such as doing the dishes, cleaning the toilet, making sandwiches, and doing what the fuck you're told. Get that hot, sexy box you've always wanted. Get some fucking Ico Cunt today. Side effects may include vomiting, nosebleeds, itchy inner cunt, headaches, human papillomavirus, self-mutilation, swelling of the piss hole, twerking, cunt cramps, flaky skin, toenail fungus, mustache and or goatee, sudden onset pregnancy, leg pain, blowing diarrhea out of your pussy, tennis elbow, stink crotch, inner ear herpes, throat cancer, AIDS of the armpit, murdering your boss for not giving you that promotion you deserve, arthritic pussy lips, total vision loss, and graying of the pubic patch. Don't sit around waiting for dicks to fall in your lap. Get fucked tonight with Ico Cunt, the best cunt pills on the market. Uh, muted.
<laughs> what up? Uh, Welcome back to the Vegan Arcade Show. <laughs> Before the uh, commercial break, uh, an angry customer stormed into the arcade and kicked the shit out of Eddie. He's laying on the ground moaning. He's all fucked up. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to continue with the show. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's Peyton. How you doing, bud? What up, the hole? Hey, we out here. Yeah, out here, down here. We're all over the place, man. Hell yeah. Ow. What's happening? Oh, not much, man. Eddie's just fucking losing his mind. He's hooked on Ico Cox, <clears throat> and he's spiraling completely out of control. Yeah, I'm loving it, man. I love that shit. I just saw him getting his ass kicked. I'm loving that. That was fucking fantastic. But, you know. Ow! Oh, Yo, Satan. Yo, we didn't get to fucking talk since the weekend uh, when you and I went to that bachelor party at Zoomies. Yo, that shit was hype as Fuck, man. I had such a good time there. The food was great. All steaks, no masks. Uh, everything was like absolutely dope as fuck. Uh, Zoomies Arcades and Billiards is definitely the place to be. Everyone loves that fucking place. Hey, janitor. what? What's up, man? I don't know if the janitor can pick up those headphones. Pick up the headphones. Yo. Hey, what's up, man? How what, you doing? What up? What up, man? Just washing floors. What is it? What is this? Is this that show? Yeah. Yeah, it's that show. Yeah. It's, I'm on a show right now. It's Eddie Upshaw's Vegan Arcade Show. Yeah. Am I early? I'm working early. What the fuck am I doing? What do you got going on over there? I was just cleaning the floors. Uh, that's my job. Eddie pays me. He hasn't paid me once yet, but hopefully he will soon. <laughs> it's a lot of blood on the floors today. I don't know what the fuck happened, but. We were just hanging out here talking about Zoomies, bro. Oh, yo, yo. You know, I just get paid to clean this arcade, but I heard Zoomies is the shit. I love it, man. All the juggalos go there. I know that for a fact. I was a juggalo once. Uh, uh, yeah, yo, yeah. juggalos are dope as fuck, man. Actually, me myself, I'm a juggalo. Really? You, so you know what? I stopped listening out about Jekyll Brothers. I got arrested for some shit. Don't really want to. Uh, don't really want to get into it. But uh, I got. I was in jail for about twelve years, and next thing you know, the last Joker card was released, and the world was still alive. So like, I was like, fuck that. I'm not a juggalo anymore. Sorry. I don't know if that offends you or not, but no, you know, not I had to make some money somehow. So I got. I gave out a resume and. Eddie didn't even look at it, just put me to work. Really? How's Eddie yeah. doing down there? Is he all right? I don't know. I, he seems to be fine, I guess. I haven't really seen much of him. There's a lot of blood on the floor. What happened? Uh -huh. I, what happened to him? It looks like he, he somebody came in and beat him up. It was uh, some kid's dad. Is that what happened? Yeah. Man, that's why there's so much blood on the floors here. Yeah, I'll clean that shit up. Just, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know if Eddie's going to be pissed that I'm talking to you or not, but just don't tell him. Eddie, what's up? What the hell happened to you? God. Oh, God, my eye. Look at my eye. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck do you think you're doing? You're going to have to pay me extra for this. Yeah, no, what? Get my fucking headphones off and don't you got a fucking puddle of piss to clean up, you asshole? I oh, I got to fucking pop this eyeball back in. Oh, Christ, oh, fucking Christ. Watch the blood. You're getting blood all over my my freshly, squee my freshly squeegee floors. Oh, asshole. You're a fucking janitor. Where's my hat? Don't you got a fucking puddle of piss to clean up? You know what? Now you do. Don't do that. Come on, Eddie. Have oh, some respect, yeah. man. Here it comes. Have some. Come on, buddy. Like I don't want to be mocked. Ah, God, here the it comes. Oh. Put your dick away. Ah, uh, there's your Put fucking. You... There's your work schedule. You better be paying me extra for this. 
Yeah, clean a puddle of piss. Take a fucking hike. You got shit to do. Don't come near the fucking camera again. Ah, what in the fuck happened? Yo, Eddie, what's up? I want to talk to the janitor more, man. He seems pretty chill. He's an actual juggalo. Yeah, no one gives a shit. He's cleaning up piss like them janitors always seem to do. And yet, I got to get back to my show. I got sponsors to do shout outs for. We got big shit planned for this evening. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank the wonderful people down at Dildo Springs Retirement Home. I stopped in last week, took the free tour. They got a great facility down there. I brought my my aunt because she's fucking old as shit. Losing her goddamn mind, so... We dropped her ass off at Dildo Springs Retirement Home. The burden is lifted. I can do what I want to do again. You know, like beat off in her bed. You know, muck around in her financials, that sort of thing. Thanks a lot, Dildo Springs. You guys are the real deal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ah, my fucking neck. We got a great band coming up to play tonight. Eddie's Arcade Concert Series returns with a very famous rock band, Hooba Stank. We'll be here tonight. Hooba Stank. <coughs> Yo, Eddie. Uh, there seems to be a problem. What up, Satan? There seems to be a problem. Uh, the manager for Hooba Stank. He says there's no show tonight and that there never was one. He said he's never even heard of you. And now they're threatening to sue Studio 17 for falsely using their name. And I'm trying to figure out what is up with that, bro. I'd let you on the show to do the show. I'd let you on the network to do the show. You're trying to get us sued? Hey, pissing shit, boy. You got a fucking disciplinary meeting with me upstairs. So get your little tits up there before I fucking hack you into pieces. I seriously have no idea what the fuck is happening in this show at all. It's a complete clusterfuck. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know. This Every show that we do gets more progressively fucked. And, uh, you know, we got Satan here. I think I should bring him in, give him a little chat him up a little bit and see what's going on. What up, Satan? How's everything been popping off, cuz? What up, though, bro? Not much. I know we were talking about that dope fucking Zoomies uh, bachelor fucking party we had or whatever it was. It was dope as fuck. I don't even remember the party because the food was so great. It overwhelmed everything. These people here are getting sick on vegan meat sauce. Fucking ridiculous, man. I see there's a bunch of pussies in the chat tonight, but uh, other than that, you know, I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> I've, I've seen a bunch of pussies in the fucking chat too, Satan. We should definitely uh, take care of that. Uh, together sometime maybe in another episode we can figure it out but uh, let's check in with these guys i think they made it up to the roof what i let my temper get the best of me again you know what and i've been seeing a therapist about this shit and i'm not gonna let it happen again i just want to let you know that i appreciate what you do for this arcade Thanks, man. you know cleaning up all the piss and stuff yeah because, you know, no one really wants to do that for what you make. <laughs> Let's be honest. And you know what? That's why it really pains me to have to give you a Hulk Hogan boot off the roof. Yeah. Well, that about does it. Freddie Upshaw's Vegan Arcade Show. Glad you tagged along. 
I'm going to go jerk off my Uncle Gary so he leaves me alone. Have a great night and fuck off. <laughs>